The next thing I want to talk about in the Q menu is the Bevel Edge Manager. This thing, whenever you just general click it, it brings up the Bevel Manager, which will let you do things like customize your bevel profile. It'll let you change the bevel width, multiply things very quickly. It's also located under the hops button, you know, if you're trying to get to it a little bit more accessibly. It looks kind of big with the custom here. We might have to do a collapse to allow this area to collapse in the future. However, this is a quick way to just focus on gesture bevels when dealing with things. However, over the course of several commercial jobs, I've had clients who have asked for things like, hey, can you multiply your bevels? Which is why you can basically alt click to multiply your bevels. Of course, all these shapes are built off of previous levels. So just multiplying bevels haphazardly is not the safest route. So we'll press control Z to undo that. And it looks like we um, maybe messed things up a little bit there. So let's actually revert for this. So let's go over that again. So the next thing in this is the bevel divider. This is something that is, can be used a little bit more reliably because it divides every bevel by half. So by clicking it, we see that every bevel has become just a little bit finer, which is something that has come up from time to time on commercial jobs where people are like, you know, can you make the bevel just a little bit finer? I still want it, but I just don't want it so big. You have the bevel just a little bit overshooting. And then of course we can still go in here and just bring up the general bevel manager to get in here and actually adjust this bigger profile if we're trying to. But of course, it depends on the geometry that relies upon it if it's going to actually be successful. But that's basically the bevel edge manager in a nutshell. This isn't something that you need to use very often, but it also offers an option for basically converting types of edges to other types of edges. This is something that I rarely use, but on advanced models where say I have everything marked as the same, but I wanna make it a sharp, I can do that. I can just mark it as the same, or I can grab everything that's currently say a sharp and then choose to mark it as basically everything that I would mark it with an S sharpen. You could also make it apply these things to angles. So you can also make it run S sharpen in a way by just choosing what you want it to do by just marking them all saying, I I want this to be marked to everything that's uh, 45 degrees. And when you click OK, it will run that operation. But I'm going to right click and not run that because the better way to sharpen is to simply just use sharpen. That's why it's our main option. But that's the bevel edge manager in a nutshell. It isn't something that you'll use very often. But for those times when you do, you'll be glad that you have a little bit of extra help when it comes to managing these sort of mods that are maybe placed say every 20 mods in a stack you have a bevel but you need to deal with gesture bevels and you don't want to see all the subsequent mods that come up in between